now with that being said you probably had to mature earlier than most because you had to come to terms with your own thoughts earlier than most so dealing with a lot of the situations you dealt with you probably knew how to navigate them a hundred times better than we did because and just in some circumstance because you were sitting there like i'm a bit more sure of myself than y'all might be because i had to deal with a little bit more before y'all had to Mm, facts even if it's internally Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sounds sounds right nigga I, yeah, yeah, but I was I was still battling if that's who I really was inside. And so Be- then, like, what gave you the because, security to know that was who you were? Because I mean, at some point, you have to say to I yourself, was like, <laughs> "Really?" I honestly didn't really come into full yeah self mm-hmm. until I was thirty-two. So then, what is that like from the moment? Not even the moment, because you you know now when you knew you can you can look back and reflect. Yeah. Hindsight is. Word. Is a beautiful thing, beautiful but thing. I'm saying from like but. let's let's go from 15 to 32. What is, what does that feel like? I was fighting my emotions inside. Mm-hmm. I was fighting. It, but is it confusion? Do you? It was conf- It was confused because you know what it was too. Everyone was like, I was getting it from my like I wasn't really speaking to my family about what I did was distant. Mus- I distanced myself from my family, so mm-hmm. I wasn't really going to see my family. And it was like next day, I don't know, 10, 15 years went by. Do you wow. like you dead if, ass? If you're it I got to ask people. Would you say don't do that? Like talk. Do to not them. do that. Please do not do that. Talk to someone because at the end of the day, you That's know what it was. A long time. I I didn't come out to my family until I was 32. Mm-hmm. I was faced with a like I literally had a perforation in my intestine, and I went out to the club with Erica and fucking Alicia and them. Yeah. We Erica and Alicia Gooden from um fuck Hustle hey, Brooklyn. Hey, and t- every Love Tuesday, and every Tuesday, ten o'clock. Those, those you people, you uh-huh, fuck it up. So we we ended up going out, and I'm like, yo, fuck, like ah, I can't go into this party. Like I feel like shit. When like, I get home, it's like five thirty in the morning. Everybody sleep. So I get up. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna go take a shit. Uh, I'm sitting on the toilet, like ah, <laughs> 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 nothing's coming out. So I'm like, what the fuck? I feel like Chucky's just stabbing my stomach up and shit. So I'm like, yo, E, I'm about to go to the hospital. I'm about to call the ambulance now. She's like, yo, you fucking, like, you, oh, you exaggerating, bitch. Bitch, I'm about to go to the hospital. I woke up four days later in a fucking coma. Like, out of Wait, a coma, what? I see you. Four days later? I My body went into septic shock. What? What's what happened? I had a preference. I didn't know what, they couldn't tell me what it was. They was asked, like, if I traveled places, if I ate certain things, if I did certain things. Probably I was getting <laughs> too wild and out. While now being around people that I shouldn't have been around and shit like that, you feel me? But I ended up having a preparation of my test and stool was going into my body, wasn't being oh, released properly. Lord Jesus. And woke waking up five days later, four days later in um ICU with my family around me and shit. So at that point right there, it's like, yo, I had to my nigga, like, I'm bugging. Like I literally like my I my life flashed before my eyes, you feel me? And I at that point I'm like, yo, I was being attacked. Like being attacked by like spirits and shit like that in my sleep, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, nigga, uh, a Haitian um, priest comes by my room, right? He's like, you look like you're going through something. Do you want me to pray for you? So I'm like, yeah, all right, go ahead, pray for me. Nigga, two minutes walk, two minutes that nigga walks out my um, walks out my room. Soon as he walks out, I'm starting getting attacked in my sleep. So I'm like, yo, it's just a bunch of things going on, emotionally, Man, spiritually. I'm just fighting, like physically, I'm. I'm losing. It's I'm like, war. what the fuck is going on? Like, I can't, I can't deal with this. So at that time, Erica was big and loving hip hop. Alby, Alicia, they're all traveling and well, shit like that. So I'm in my, I'm high on morphine. Really? <laughs> like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah, the yeah. pain? Eleven. Yeah, <laughs> so like, I'm sitting there watching like American Ninja and shit. Like, ooh, 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 I don't know why I'm crying, but like, you know what I mean? So. Just don't think about everything. So I'm like, fuck, niggas ain't even here for me. Like, these will be my people. It's like, what the fuck? I don't got nobody. So now I'm like, I don't got nobody. Like, I'm thinking about my friends. I'm not even thinking about my family. The next day, my aunt comes down with my cousin. So I'm like, all right. Now I'm, they move me upstairs. I'm going to take, I'm going to take a, a shower and shit. As soon as I went to go stand up like this, mad blood just came out. What? I went to go like fall from like seeing the shit. Yo, my aunt started crying. That was really like what like dawned on me. Cause she was like, yo, I don't ever want to see you go through this. She was like, you're like my brother. Cause like my, me and my aunt's like brother and sister. My grandmother oh, raised me. Okay. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she was like, you're like my brother. Like, you feel me? Like if something happens to you, I don't know what I'm, ha- what I'm gonna do. So I'm like, yo, that's fucking crazy. You feel me? Like, 
my aunt's coming down here to check on me. Mm -hmm. I'm going through all these things. Like, something got to give. Like, Joel Austin, boy, he, he was up in, um, in Yankee Stadium. Okay. And I'm going through my shit. All of a sudden, flicking, flicking, flicking. He's like, just when you think your life is going, your life is, is nothing. You know what I mean? Just think about all the fertilizer that you that's being like the shit that's being added to your life. Don't think about it as shit. He's not saying those words. He's like, think about the stuff that's gonna grow from the fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Just to think about so that. I'm that like, situation. wow. Everything that I'm going through, he's talking about, and it's resonating so hard with me right now. I I told my aunt, I was like, you know what, I'm gay. This is what it is. I told my mother. Oh, at that point they didn't know. I was like, nope. I told yeah, my mother. Like, like, I'm gay. My only people, the only people that knew was my two brothers. Mm -hmm. Thirty-two years old. Thirty-two so years did, old. So did you tell them, and they was like, we knew already? Yeah, that's that was that's my that's aunt. She was like, she was she was like, whoa. <laughs> she didn't. Nobody knew. Really? What? No. What was you like? I was well, like, did I knew say how to he did date women, so yeah, he might have been bringing women by the house, so on and so forth. It wasn't that. Oh, like, okay. I didn't. I wasn't bringing them around our house like that. By that point, I was like, they know me from dating women, like my senior year, up until my senior year in high school. Okay. And then you cut them off. Then I moved it. down to New York. Okay. Oh, so okay, from okay. 2001 to 2000. Yeah, so you just been 14, away. 2013. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. Exactly. So it's like, okay, okay. but now, now I have to deal with this nigga 35. Why he don't got no kids? Why he don't got no girl? Why he's not getting married? You feel me? I got other cousins that's getting married. They got kids and shit like that. So it's like, at some point, I'm going to have to tell, like, I was going to have to tell them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? <clears throat> Let me make it a little easier for myself. Let me tell my aunt, because we're like this. Let me tell my mother, you know what I mean? Because she's my mother. Like, I have to, like, I, I, I owe her that. I'm going to tell her sister. I, I at least owe her the fact to know. Big facts, big facts. So, um, when I told my aunt, she was like, you know what? She's like, I get it. It is what it is. And she paused for a second. So, when she paused, I was like, damn, well, should I have told her this? And I was like, well, why you get quiet for her? And she's like, well, you know, it's a lot to deal with. She's like, but, like, what the fuck am I going to do? She's like, I love you. She was like, you don't have to tell nobody else if you don't want to. Did that, did that lift some weight? Hey, yo, I, boy, I'm not gonna lie. So that's, so that's what I was getting. That shit made me like, feel bad. I was like, damn, I feel so It crazy. felt like mm. such a weight was like a mountain, like Mount Rushmore was lifted off my chest. I'm like, oh, okay. This is like, <laughs> like, now I'm, I'm good. Okay. She's like Medea. Mm -hmm. So if I could tell her, like, I could she tell me anybody. Like, like, real you feel shit. Me? My mother, on the other hand, she's like, Sal. <laughs> Sal. Um, what happened? How, what do you, so what do y'all do? I'm like, what? what How do y'all have do? sex? What? Just like you and your husband without a fucking vagina. Oh, man, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the old school. So she's like, she, like, she, like, she, she listening like, um, what is she like, do you, I'm like, listen, I'm not even having this talk with you no more. Like, <laughs> but like, we're not having a burst of bees now, nigga. During her time, though, that was yeah. a disease. But so, like, also fucking <coughs> illiteracy and fucking... <coughs> Being naive and stupid to certain things was True. a disease during their time. True. True. Being close-minded, for True. sure. One thing they can do is count money. <laughs> they could keep a job and count money. That's a good point. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to other things, we can't really like depend on their way of thinking. Yeah. You know? That's crazy, though. Mm -hmm. And you think, so your health, your health during that time, do you think that it was influenced by you keeping that secret? You... Mm -hmm. I don't even, was it really a secret at that point? Or was it just like, all right, these people are not even in my life right now? Yeah, exactly. that's what it was. You know what because I never, I never not told someone that I wasn't gay. Yeah. You know. If somebody asked you, it was just going to be a fucking like, business yeah. if I didn't know you like that. Okay, and no, but rightfully so. Like, why the fuck you need to know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then at the, at the end of the day, the way I carry myself, I should never, you should never even question. The first thing you should question is my character. Yes. Over everything. You know what I mean? The person that's in front of you. Yeah. But I'll be honest, if I see you on the street and never just said a word to you, I'm not going to immediately assume that. Unless I start yeah. looking at all the granular details. Word. And still, I'm not going to immediately assume that. Like, I'd That's be true. very forward with you from first meeting you. I didn't immediately go, okay, he's gay. No, you look like a well, regular. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> I knew because Jeff told us, like, yo. Yeah, but I mean, gay. I'm saying without. Walked in, but without that. Expectation. I'm like, right, I'm like nigga, I don't even so know until fuck you and I was having a conversation. This is the first like platform that I've ever come out. 
And I, I was just hey, about this my nigga. Bro, shit. You at the table, my nigga. You at the table, nigga. Come on, real, man, bro. We don't, we don't, real, come on, bro. Only, only thing that would threw me off was the, the the pinky nails, but besides that, yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep it. Shit. I got bad ass. I didn't peep that till you. So they work guys. A few weeks ago, I was getting, I was doing some shit at work where I had to go have a meeting with HR and my bosses, and I was rolling in dice. Mm. You know what? Speaking of HR and bosses, so let's 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 go there. Mm -hmm. So being gay in the workplace, because for example, for me, <coughs> at the law firm that I work at, um, like there's definitely a few uh, homies that's gay. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, but I've I've never seen any like <coughs> mistreatment amongst blacks, gays, lesbians, whatever. So, I mean, not necessarily saying with the company you work at now. But in any past experiences, have you ever felt some sort of like discrimination? Like, damn, like, you know, I feel that they're treating me this way because they know I'm gay and black. Excuse me. Um, yes. So mm -hmm. I actually had a conversation with um, my coworker a few weeks back mm -hmm. because she said to me, she was like, why do you look so angry? <laughs> she like, what? Wait, wait, She's wait. Asian. I said, what? I mean, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? She's like, um, no. I was like, I told you this morning I was sick when I came in, right? Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah. I was like, that's to explain the reason on my face, the, the look on my face. I was like, let me tell you something. Don't, when you're talking to me, make sure you use your words, choose your words wisely. Mm -hmm. You, you understand because what is you, that a bad question to ask though? Why look so angry? It is when you're asking a black man at work in a corporate environment who works around a bunch of white people who already feel like black people have attitudes and gay people have attitudes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They feel like okay, we're sassy, okay, okay, okay. sarcastic, or either just nasty, like, but that's not the case. Like, bitch, I just don't want to deal with the shit that you're giving me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now when I'm not smiling, oh, what's wrong? Then when I am smiling, oh, you're so happy today. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel what you're saying. You? I feel what you're saying. I feel like, you're so so happy like I don't, today. I don't know what mold to fit. Like it's 